Coach, uh, first of all, good afternoon to you. Welcome, and congratulations to you and your staff on uh, helping Kyra Lewis develop and uh, re- reach a milestone today uh, for Hazel Green High School. Drew, I appreciate it. Um, you know, hats off to Kyra, uh, the accomplishments he's did on the floor as a player, but also, like you alluded to earlier, in the classroom, uh, making sure he took care of what he had to take care of to give himself this opportunity. So just really excited for him and, um, you know, just just can't wait to see him play for the University of Alabama and what they've got going on there. And uh, they've got a special, special player. Uh, they certainly do, Coach. And uh, he was a big part of your success in the two years uh, you coached him at Hazel Green. And I guess for the Alabama fans that are listening, we have a myriad of them from throughout the United States that tune into this show each and every day. What kind of player is Alabama getting in uh, Kyra Lewis? They're getting a uh, dynamic player, um, such a such a hard player to defend with the ball. He's so elusive, so fast. It, it, it's just so hard for a, a, a player uh, of any athletic ability to stay in front of this kid. He's so quick, um, decision making, being able to score from inside, outside, and just really his unselfishness with the ball. He's going to, you know, I, you talk about LeBron James passing up a lot of passes when a lot of people say you should shoot the ball. You know, Kyra is not afraid to, to go get you a basket when he knows you need a basket, but he, he's also going to be a very unselfish teammate. Uh, just a great high-character kid. Uh, he's going to represent University of Alabama uh, to the fullest. So uh, they're, they're going to be in a treat to watch this kid play. And uh, after they see him play, they're going to leave Coleman Coliseum and they're going to talk about Kyra Lewis. And, Coach, I, of course, the inevitably, he's going to be compared to Colin Sexton. And we saw the impact Colin had on the program, helping them reach the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2012, win a game in the tournament uh, for the first time since 2006, and push the, the uh, now reigning national champion Villanova Wildcats for a, a good half. Uh, is it fair to compare him to Colin Sexton, and can he make the same kind of impact? Well, you know, Colin Sexton is just an unbelievable player, uh, and obviously his numbers and his game has spoke for itself this past year and the career he had at Alabama. But, you know, one thing about Kyra Lewis, he's such a humble kid, and uh, his drive and work ethic, he's going to do everything that he can to make himself better and to make those guys around him better every day. So, uh, you know, I, you're asking a guy that's seen this kid play for two years and see the growth and maturity from his sophomore year to, to finishing up this past year. And, uh, yes, I, I think he's going to uh, – he's definitely going to make a name for himself. And, you know, hopefully hopefully in the next couple of years when, when he leaves or whatever time frame that is, Maybe somebody is going to come in behind him and and elude him with the name of Colin Sexton and now Kyra Lewis. So um, I, I have full confidence that he's going to do everything he can to uh, to uphold the name that he's he's given himself at this point. And uh, coach, I know you were fortunate to be able to tutor him uh, for his sophomore and junior seasons and his uh, what turned out to be his final two at Hazel Green. Uh, how much did you see him grow and in what areas as a player in the two years that he played for you? You know, um, just the standpoint of him being an older player, you know, when I got here his sophomore year, he had a lot of the tools that he needs to be successful. But just the conversations and the maturity – that he was able to take from the head coach. You know, I always tell people, three people have to have a great practice every day. The head coach, the point guard, and the best player. And uh, if, if those three people have a great practice every day, your team's got a chance to be successful. And I was the coach, Kyra was the best player, and Kyra was the point guard. So just seeing the extension of what we wanted him to do, uh, just seeing that and how he, how he communicated with the guys and how he – it was encouraging to those guys that were on his team and how he believed in them and they played hard and, um, you know, just the skill set. You know, this kid was in the gym every day, every morning. He would text me, Coach, can I get in the gym? You know, yes, sir. You know, I never told a kid they couldn't get in the gym. And, you know, he was a guy that's a gym rat. He loves it. 
he's going to do the things that he has to do to continue to get better. And, Coach, uh, you were a part of college basketball within the state. You played at UNA. How significant is it to have young men like Kyra Lewis stay home and try to elevate basketball within the state? We saw Auburn win the SEC last year under Bruce Pearl. They certainly are going to be among the favorites on paper uh, in the SEC coming uh, this next coming season. Alabama certainly is all back uh, on the rise. You know, you have, you have Colin Sexton doing what he's done so far in the NBA early in his career with the Cleveland Cavs during the summer league. How significant in your mind is it to, to be able to keep these kids from, to, from going uh, outside the state and to stay and grow basketball in the state of Alabama? You know, it's huge. I think um, you, you got to credit Avery Johnson and his staff for being very uh, persistent. You know, they were there from day one, and, uh, you know, they, they developed a relationship with Kyra and, you know, his family. And, uh, you know, it speaks volumes that, uh, you know, Alabama is known for a football school, but, man, what Avery Johnson and those guys have been able to do in the short time that he's been there uh, has been unbelievable. I think it really just helps the state of Alabama. You know, when 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 your uh, university is doing well and they're recruiting high school kids from the state of Alabama, that tells me there's a lot of really good high school basketball coaches among this state. And uh, you know, it it really makes it exciting for a high school basketball to know that if you've got a kid that can play, you know, the University of Alabama. And like you alluded to earlier, Auburn and Bruce Pearl and what they were able to do, you know, it's exciting for any young kid now. You don't have to, you don't have to look to go out of state. You know, the fans that have watched Kyra play the last two years and even, even North Alabama, seeing this kid play as a middle school kid all the way up to where he's at now, you know, it's just going to be an honor for those people to be able to say, that's my team, I know that kid. And then when you put him with John Petty, that's another local product of North Alabama, you know, it's going to be like two guys from the same town playing on the same team. And, you know, it's just great. It's just great all around for everybody. It is, and uh, it's a true credit to him and, of course, the culture that you had at Hazel Green High School that the young man, of course, we know what he did on the court, but that he was able to do such a great job in the classroom to be able to, uh, you know, get, get done with his academic requirements and and, and, and uh, end up reclassifying uh, to the University of Alabama really a full year early. That's a, that's a great credit to the, both the, the Hazel Green uh, faculty, uh, along with yourself, and to Kyra for getting that job done. Uh, no doubt, you know, uh, you know, Hazel Green High School has got some great teachers. They they really care about the kids. Uh, you know, you look at the players that have come out of Hazel Green that have went on to qualify and play Division One, either at baseball, football, basketball, girls basketball. Just all the athletics is, is just such a good program there. Uh, you know, Kyra's teachers came to me numerous times and just, you know, it's always good as a coach when you have a teacher come to you and say, let me tell you what Kyra did today. You know, and the, the class was getting a little out of hand and, and Kyra just kind of, you know, was a leader and kind of, you know, just everything about it. Um, you know, I've got two small children, with three small children, two boys and a daughter, and just how my kids look up to him. That's the example that he sets for my kids. And uh, they're going to miss seeing him play, but they're also going to be excited to go to, to uh, you know, Tuscaloosa and, and watch him perform. And, and you know, we, our, my family couldn't be more happy for, you know, Kyra Sr. and Natasha and the job that they've done as parents and the sacrifices that they've made just to put him in a situation to be able to do what he did. So just a great family, great kid. And uh, just looking forward to, to watching him grow even more. And finally, Coach, last question for you. Uh, as we, we're going to now, Avery Johnson and his staff are going to mold uh, Kyra Lewis. What kind of player do you, do you see him being on the college level? And of course, his ultimate aspiration is to reach the NBA. But what kind of, I know he's, he's, he's really started to come into his own for Hazel Green and your program. But as we watch him now and follow him at Alabama on the college level, what kind of player is uh, Kyra Lewis ultimately going to become in your mind? You know, I think Kyra is that kid that's going to do whatever the coaches ask him to do. It, you know, if it, if it means going out and 
and looking for looking to get going early or looking to get his teammates involved. kyra has got an IQ for basketball that's very, very high. And uh, when you put players around him that Alabama has already on the roster, already on the team, you know, I think his coaches are going to be uh, they're they're going to be excited to know the ball is going to be in his hand, and you know, Kyra is going to do whatever they ask him to do, and uh, that's just what makes a special player a special player. Uh, so, you know, I'm I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait to uh, to talk to those coaches in the next few months and, and kind of see where Kyra is at and how he's grown and just get their feedback. But they're 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 They've got an outstanding young man and an exceptionally basketball player. Well, Coach, we know you have a very busy schedule, but come this fall, uh, you know, maybe on a weekend, if you can get away, we hope to see you in Tuscaloosa to watch your former pupil play for the University of Alabama. He couldn't have gotten there without your guidance and the great uh, job you did coaching at Hazel Green. But we certainly uh, enjoyed having you here on the game in Tuscaloosa and, of course, on my radio show in Huntsville on 97.7 The Zone. You've always been very generous with your time. and. Thank you for joining us on this great day for Kyra Lewis and giving us a look at the, at the maybe uh, and an insight into one of the great players in the country and what he could mean to the University of Alabama basketball program. Thank you, sir, and have a great weekend and a, and a great rest of your afternoon. We really appreciate your time. Drew, I appreciate you having me on, man. Roll Tide.